We're just going into this evening here in Denmark. It's women's doubles up next, and it's the two-time former champions, Yuka Fukushima and Sayaka Hirota, the number four seeds from Japan, up against the European Championship silver medalist, Linda Effler and Isabel Lohau. Well, this, from the top section of the draw, it's the second quarter, and as you can see, all other matches have been concluded in this particular quarter of the draw, and all three previous matches in this section have been won in two straight games. And we can see that the four-time finalist, Shin Seung Chan, are this year playing with a new partner, Lee Yu Lim. She is safely through to the second round. We watched Jolly and Puella earlier on. That was our sixth match of the day, beating Boya and Melund. And they will play against Kitty Harakon and Prajong Jai. Well, women's doubles, it is only Fukushima and Hirota, the pair we're about to watch, who are former champions in the women's doubles draw this year. Two other pairs have been in the final of the Denmark Open, the number one seeds, Chen Ching Cheng and Jia Yifan. Uh, they were in the final three years ago, and then two years ago, Matsumoto and Nagahara. But here are the two-time former champions, Yuki Fukushima and Sayaka Hirota. Won their two titles in 2018 and again in 2020. This is their fifth appearance here at the Denmark Open. And the last three occasions they've played, they've reached at least a semi-final on all three occasions. Linda Effler, the taller of the two German athletes. And Isabel Lohau won their silver medal at the European Championships in Madrid earlier this year, lost out to uh, Gabriela and Stephanie Stoyeva of Bulgaria. Incidentally, that Bulgarian pair, the European champions, uh, lost their first round match earlier today. So this will be a fourth meeting between these two pairs and all three previous occasions have been won by the former champions, Fukushima and Hirota, and all three occasions have been won in two straight games. Last meeting, as you saw, was here two years ago in the second round. Okay, thank you. That's right, thank you. So the toss of the key coin concluded. Everybody knows what's happening, who's serving, who's receiving and what end the players are going to start. The Germans have said they want to start the far side of the court. So it will be interesting to see how this pair from Japan uh, do because they actually withdrew from the World Championships on home soil in Tokyo in August because this lady, Yuki Fukushima, had a calf injury. As you can see, she's 29 years of age uh, from Kumamoto Prefecture on the island of Kushu. Five foot five and currently seven on the world ranking, uh, but did spend a total of 88 weeks as world number ones this pair across five different spells. 28 years of age, Sayaka Hirota, and she is the taller of the two at five foot seven. She was also born in Kumamoto Prefecture, and they've been in one final this year. That was the Indonesian Open Super 1000 event. Isabel Lohau is 30 years of age from Kersbrook in Nuremberg in Bavaria. Lives though in Saarbrücken. 
she and her partner are down one place from their highest ranking, uh, which was just two weeks ago. They had one week at 20 in the world. Linda Reffler, she really is tall, isn't she? That's five foot ten. Is 27 years of age from Instedon, which of course was infamous, became infamous, infamous uh, due to a terrible school shooting. Somebody went into a school and shot a, a number of people back in 2006. I remember watching that with absolute horror. Well, three-time World Championship silver medalist, this pair, as well as being former world number ones. Uh, umpire from the Netherlands. And our service judge from New Zealand. Japan. Yeah. Isabel Lohau to serve the Yuki Fukushima Love Hall play. Good opening rally. That's gone long. Well, Isabel Lohau made history at the World Championships in the mixed doubles discipline when she and partner Mark Lumsfuss won a first ever medal by German players in any of the three doubles disciplines. In fact, the only medals at World Championships previous to their bronze in Tokyo had been in the women's singles discipline. Now, I think one of the issues for the German combination is going to be that they just simply don't have enough fire power uh, to get through the defence of the Japanese pair who have a wonderful defence. I think that could be a bit of an issue for them. Now they're going to win their rallies. They simply can't rely on the Japanese pair making errors because they're one of the steadiest pairs, or certainly were before all the injury problems, because not only did Fukushima have a calf muscle injury during the World Championships, but Sayaka Hirota, two months before the Olympic Games, tore an anterior cruciate ligament in her right knee and actually played the Olympic Games. There she is serving with a, a huge brace on her leg. Then she decided after the Olympics in early August last year that she needed surgery to repair the ACL. And it's very good to see her playing without any knee bandage or any sort of knee support whatsoever. And that's one of the reasons why their ranking has dropped, because they've been out for so long.
Ja. Yeah. Good interception. Well, both of German players who played earlier today in the mixed doubles discipline and mixed success. Linda Effler lost her match with Janssen. Whereas Lohau won her mixed doubles with Lamsfuss. So a second match of the day for both the German players. Should be used to the conditions. Backhand is really short. Got what it deserved from Fukushima. Landed well in. Oh, she's challenging. Well, maybe I was looking through the wrong bit of my very focals. I didn't think that was even close. No, it was close, but it was definitely in. So that's one challenge wasted. So, the response to the four straight points from the Germans is four straight points to the Japanese pair. First service error of the match. It's coming from Fukushima.
neither pair is really willing to go all out attack. Both pairs playing a little bit passively at the moment. Oh dear. That's a service error from each of the Japanese players. Good return. on that clear from Isabel Lohau. Point for points over the last few rallies. That's gone long, so it's a three point advantage for Fukushima and Hirota. Well, number four seeds here yeah. at the Demarco. Staying inside this top long rallies. Yeah. Okay. I think when we give it away, we can actually wait a little bit more and uh, and move them from side to side. Yeah, especially on the on the smashes we take when we put it on the sides, it's really good for us. Yeah, but then when they give it up, sometimes just give it back and let them work it one more time in the deep, in the offense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because or else we have to do a lot from down there. Yeah, and it it's apparently slow enough. We can easily stand in the defense. Huh? Uh, Fukushima, so really well short. Yeah. yeah. So just sometimes just lift it away, like they also do. Yeah. And then use the flicks. Yeah. Well, their coach, Jeppe Luverson, advocating a very passive style of play, a very defensive style of play. Didn't really talk once about how they could win the points. He talked about defence the whole time. Interesting that Christina Pedersen is sitting on the coach's bench as well. It's a couple of Danes that are working as consultants to the German team. Jan Jorgensen is with Scotland. But Mads Conrad used to be a men's doubles player. He's acting as a consultant to the German team. Well, if he's advocating his players are defensive. And don't be afraid to lift it one more time, make them do the work. Is he thinking that 
the Japanese pair are going to make enough mistakes that the Germans can win? Because I don't see that happening. Maybe I've just completely misinterpreted the coaching and it's, you know, 14. just a way of getting back into the rallies. So I'm really not sure. He's a lovely man, is Jeppe Luverson. German coach. I'll enjoy having a chat to him later about that. Yeah, it's a missed opportunity, she knows it. This is six straight points now to the Japanese pair. Seventeen nine. Yeah, good interception. Eighteen nine. Serve return and third shot crucial in doubles. And she was alert to that Fukushima. Well, that's where she's absolutely brilliant. Isabel Lohau. From the front of the court, piling on the pressure, as she did in that rally. Both of the German sports soldiers, which means that they're in the services. But given all the time they need to train and play badminton.
Oh! <laughs> Completely missed it. Uh, I think one of the issues there was that Yuku Fukushima had a big swing of the racket. And if your timing's off slightly, then it's catastrophic. Much, much better to have a short, sharp movement of the racket head. Thank you. Less time for things to go wrong. Thirteen, nineteen. Oh, challenge here. Out. They're wrong on this. They've got no challenges left in this open game. Challenge it was just out. No challenges remaining. Over 20, game point 13. Play. So, game point opportunities, seven of them for the two time former champions, Fukushima and Hirota. Oh, that's a wonderful interception again from Lohau. 20. Oh, yes, clever. Convert on their second game point opportunity. Umpire just confirming that scoreline of 21 14 in 21 minutes. Opening game to the two time former champions. Fukushima and Hirota. We need to be a little sharper at this, especially this movement from side to side. Because there is room for it, and we got the defense for it. And when they come in and smash the first one, get them over on the other side because we get some good positions out of it mm -hmm. uh, from the defense. Then I think, uh, like you did here in the end, that was actually quite good. That when we were, when we are on top, we can maybe continue a little longer, like the three or four shots instead of it's one, two shots, and then we block it. You know, when we still have the, the advantage. Okay. Uh, well, that's a really thing we, we, we do play okay. You can come in, like it was really good one with the high ones. So you variate between the high ones, the, the steep ones, but also the just hard placement. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Okay? Yeah? Yeah. Let's go. Well, the umpire asking the players to stay off court, that's ridiculous. You want them to be absolutely ready when the two-minute timeout is finished. They're going to wander back on court once they don't need to stay off court. All that's required is that they take their full two-minute timeout. I don't think there's anything in the rules that says they can't come back onto court. Game. Love hole. Play. 
So one game to the good, the number four seeds, Yuki Fukushima and Sayaka Hirota. Wasn't a lot of interaction between coach Luverson and the two German players in that timeout. Yep, Luverson is a, a very interesting character. I was asking him about his coaching and he was saying that he approached it very much like a player would uh, approach uh, being a player in that he wanted to master his coaching skills. He wanted to always develop, always want to learn new things so that he could always do the best for his players. And I think that's a wonderful attitude of a coach. Knows he doesn't know it all, wants to learn and learn and learn. That's a beautiful drop shot from Hirota. Good work from the front of the court. Two, Landed on the line. And you see from that far side of the court, they can punch through with their clears more as the shuttle holds up. play from Herota. Two, three. Clever, clever smash from Herota across the body of Isabel Lohau. Watch the placement. She's committed to the forehand defence, hits it across the body down the backhand side. Longest rally of the second game, I suspect. Well, not only in the European Championship final this year, Effler and Lohau also reached the final of the Swiss 300 event. Now, Lohau was in two finals in Basel, in Switzerland, because she won the mixed doubles with Lamsfus, only the third female player to contest two World Tour finals at the same event. First being Sapsuri Tegarat Tanachai in 2019 at the Thailand 300 event. And Amela Melund in Spain last year, also a 300 event. Tends to only happen, apart from a few rarities, of players playing two disciplines at the, and being successful at these higher level world tour events. Yep. 
Well, Herota is challenging that. I saw that as clearly in. Yeah, it was in. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Seven three. Play. She was quick on that serve. Oh, that's a lovely shot. Beautiful. Final shot from Lohau to Sky's first fast drop. Yeah, that's a beauty. String's gone, I think. Over. Didn't sound Seven. at all right. Ten. Yeah, no. Indeed, strings had gone. 
Yeah, that's a pity. She got herself into a good position to play a winner. And again, it's all about the angle rather than the power. This time from Effler. And it is the Germans who have a four-point advantage against the number four seeds here at the mid-game interval of the second game. That's landed well in front of the defence of Fukushima. Come here and push down on the Hinterfrau again. Yeah? Like, are you ready for these things? Yeah? really comes with us making them move and they not be comfortable yeah? so they don't just run like this yeah? so very well done you play brilliantly from the back line mm -hmm. yeah? and we have more of these situations where you can go on the hunt because we Scored have moved one, them yeah? it's really the key one, yeah? again if Hirosa serves really well we can Both just play a sheep sure. because Hirosa will just lift yeah yeah, yeah. yeah sorry <laughs> Well, I think that the Japanese pair need to be a little more proactive, a little more aggressive in their style. Not with clears, but with attacking shots, downward shots. much better from the Japanese pair. Putting pressure on opponents, working the gaps, and then the opportunities to play the winners. That's gone long. Another one goes long, and they're back level. Five straight points for the Japanese combination.
Yeah, well, that was a much flatter smash from Fukushima. I'm not sure if that was tactical or whether that was just what happened. Yeah, much flatter. Towards the right shoulder. And that turned out to be very clever play. Make that six straight points and into the lead. Yeah, now that's what I don't think the Japanese pair have been doing enough on. The drive dis defence and somebody move forward to cover the net. And that was perfect play from Hirota. Loha doing exactly that, the drive defence and move forward. Lovely play from Isabel Loha. Drive, and then she comes forward. She's ready and waiting for the next one. All level in this second game. a good interception but she's just missed the sideline there and this is the problem I think for the Japanese pair uh, they've been out for so long I mean we've had a six weeks since the last world tour event and they were out before that, so that whilst they may be physically recovered, I don't think they're match fit. Oh, that was going wide. Service over. 15 old.
Uh, I think with the slow shuffles as well, the Japanese pair really struggling to put pressure on their opponents. But they've hardly hit a hard smash in the Japanese pair. Everything's been half smashes. And whilst I'm a great believer in varying the pace of the smash, so they're not all hard, I think occasionally you have got hit hard. Well left. Service over. Sixteen. All. Play. Isabel. Oh, she should. Could have really attacked that serve, low help. Should have. Oh, that's a beautiful shot from Sayaka Hirota. to stop that run. Every point at this stage of a game is so precious. We need to keep the pressure on. Beautiful. Lovely change of pace from Lohau. And the back level. Serve. Crucial point. And that's gone long. And the advantage is with the Germans. 19, 18. Two points away from taking this second game and forcing a decider. Well, I wouldn't have predicted that. Game point opportunities. 20, game point 18. Well, I said it'd be interesting to see how the Japanese pair were after all their injury problems, and the answer to that is they're not back to their best yet, but take nothing away from Effler and Lohau. Oh, 
No, oh, it's a big, big gap. And that was well found by Fukushima. So the first of the game point opportunities has been very well saved. Look at this huge gap. Nobody covering that cross court block. Well, that's a magnificent shot from Fukushima. That little cross court net shot. Watch the final shot. It's a, a good disguise drop. Look how she follows forward and then just turns that racket head at the very last moment. And it's 20 all, and extra points required until there's a clear two point winning margin. Loose. Oh, my goodness. Finds the net in the end, but my goodness me, what a rally. Oh, that's got to be longest rally of the match easily. 52 shots, but more importantly for the German pair, it is a third game point opportunity. 21-20. Play. It's one game all. Second game to Effler and Lohau. 22-20 on their third game point opportunity. One game all against the two-time former champions, Fukushima and Hirota. Game 52 minutes change. into the match. You do want to use the high left to move them. And yeah. that's one game. Especially when we move uh, Hirota on the back line. Her deadliest weapon is this, like, a little good drop. Yeah. But this one. Um, but even when she has an okay position, we can still stay forward, especially you with these, like, take the defense like this. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And not stepping back in defense. And then it's just, I just want to play it straight if it's a smash. Yeah. yeah. And if it's a drop, I can maybe do some more. Yeah, and say little folks also playing these drops. Yeah, they're, they're good. Yeah. And it really is about like you have been fantastic at using the high lift. It's really good for us when we get in and really get some height on. Yeah. yeah? Because then you can also do way more on these like ah they play a little uh, not so good drop and then we come forward. Yeah? every time like. yeah. and then there's a gap we can block yeah there is eight. yes there is yeah. yeah fukushima is the one taking responsibility over there yeah yeah so just if if we can it does not have to be for any sake but if we can we want to play it over to here court one yeah? 20 seconds okay court one and then, uh, use the acid seconds. from time to time yeah. when they fall asleep oh, oh, acid.
final game, Love All, play. So here we go, third and deciding game. Over. One, love. Well, you could clearly hear what Yepaluvas and the Saint are doing really well on the high lifts. Block straight. Very good work at the front of the court from Isabel Lohau. about the drift, Two, the lengthways one. drift. Well, the last German pair that reached a women's doubles semi-final at the Denmark Open, you've got to go back 21 years. 2001, Nicole Goretta and Nicole Pietro reached the semi-final of this event. That was prior to the Super Series. And now the World Tour. It was a different tournament back then. Not so many of the Asian players. But this would be a huge result for Effler and Lohau if they were to come through this. In general, I feel this is a very passive match. Nobody's really hunting the shuttle, looking to attack. And see, Hiroto, that was two nice shots. But there's no follow-up from it. of hitting in a downward direction in that rally from the Japanese pair. But still, 
Quo power plays. That's her second service error. You see, in that rally, Lohau was taking her chances by hunting the shuttle at the front of the court there. And that's really made the difference in the rally. Really don't see the Japanese pair doing that sort of thing that often. They should learn from their opponents. Thank you. Six, seven. Service over. That's really nice. Eight, First six. service error, I think, from the German pair. it off the floor. Well, Nine, six, that never nine, came over. Yeah, she was ready and waiting. Hirota. Plays this one off the floor. Still doesn't get up. Thank you. Yep. Should she Nine, have needed six. to play it? Play. Over. 
Serve. And then look for the net. That's a strange tactic. Well, it's a drive serve, really. I suppose that's. She was expecting something back to the net. Worth okay. taking the risk, the I suppose. Yeah. But um, it is a four point advantage at the change of ends in this deciding game. Yeah. Four um, point advantage so in favour of the number four seeds. With the flat lift, and it can still go side to side. It can even be like a. Okay, I lift flat over to my partner, yeah, but we want them then to come in and then smash, then we come in with the block. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And also, I would like you sometimes, when you make the high lift over in Linda's side, one, just run seconds. forward on it. If they cross clear, okay, we'll figure seconds. it out. Yeah, you just run forward on the, on the drop. Yeah. Yeah, take, in other words, take the half chance and try and anticipate on the forward. Eleven, seven, play. Japanese got in a bit of a muddle there. Who was backing out which side? Who was covering what? Wide. Yeah, it could be the longest rally of this deciding game. Indeed, it is. It's the second longest rally of the entire match. Is this the decisive passage of play, do you think? No, I think it might be. Not the best of serves from Hirota. Fukushima. Yeah, he's looking a little concerned, isn't he? Oh, my goodness, how did the Japanese pair get out of trouble there? 
Fukushima's just not hitting the shuttle in this rally. Everything is going to Hirota. Well, Coach Lewison did talk about that. Again, they're working Hirota. Finally, Fukushima hits a shuttle, but only one. Eight of the last nine points to the Japanese pair. Nine of ten points now since their seven six lead. from an acute angle there, Lohau, but prior to that, really making Sayaka Hirota do the majority of the work. Ten of the last 11 points. Simply can't afford to lose 12 or 13 points. No, it's the lucky net cord. Stops that run. But surely it's too little too late now. Match point opportunities over. after an hour and 13 minutes. Eight. Out. Service over. 9.20. So four service errors from the Japanese players in this match. Delaying the inevitable, one suspects. Game. On their second opportunity, 21-9 in the deciding game. The match 
just shy of an hour and 14 minutes. Match won by Yuki Fukushima. Sayaka Hiro Tai, 21 14, 16, 20 22, 21 9. Well, from 7-6 in that deciding game, Japanese pair absolutely took control of it. So confirmation of the scoreline. 21-14, 20-22, 21-9 in the deciding game. So that's our 10 matches on the first day of competition here at this year's Denmark Open. All started at nine o'clock this morning with the former world champion, Lo Kenyu. Uh, beating Tamasin needed to save four game points in that second game before winning in two straight. Lu Qingyao and Yang Po Han uh, keep their unbeaten record against the English uh, combination, winning in two straight. Then it was the former champion in the men's singles, the 2017 winner, Kidambi Shrikant, who needed three games uh, to beat Unka Long from Hong Kong, China. Then we had an extraordinary mixed doubles and Hall and McPherson from Scotland uh, save four match points in the second game before to beating Lee and Lin at 21-13 in the deciding game. A remarkable comeback. Then it was women's singles and the two-time world championship bronze medalist Herbing Zhao uh, beating Tunjun in two straight. Then it was women's doubles and uh, Jolly and Pulela, the All England semi finalists, uh, beat the new Danish combination of Boya and Melund in two straight games. And then we had the biggest upset of the day because uh, Bai and Mulheda uh, beat the defending champions and the current world number ones, Hoki and Kobayashi in two straight games. Came from 9-14 down in that opening game before winning 12 of the next 13 points to close it out 21. 15. But then it was women's singles and the former world and Olympic champion, beaten finalist here in the past as well, Carolina Marin, who beat Tamir Blickfeld in two straight games. Then our last two matches of the day uh, both went to three games. The Asian Games gold medalist, Jonathan Christie, beating uh, Vietinghus, who was playing in his 17th Denmark Open. Hour and six minutes for 21-18 in the deciding game. And as we've just witnessed, the two-time former champions Fukushima and Hirota from Japan beating the European Championship silver medalists Efla and Lohau. 21-9 in the deciding game. Well, there's more first round action tomorrow, same time as today. That's 9am local time, 0700 GMT from all of us here and especially from me, Jill Clark. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.